Hello world ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the loan programmer As I promised earlier in this video I am going to compare object oriented programming and procedure oriented programming Before we begin please make sure that you watch my previous video on object oriented programming Now let's start our video In procedure oriented programming importance is given to the sequence of executing a program but in object oriented programming the importance is given to data and objects a procedure oriented program comprises of small units called functions in object oriented programming functions can be replaced by classes and objects in procedure oriented programming all functions can easily access the global data as the data is not protected whereas in object oriented programming data can be made public or protected within the class and thereby controlling the data access in procedure oriented programming data is less secure because data hiding is not possible object oriented programming data hiding is possible by making data private or protected inside a class in procedure oriented programming function or operator overloading is not possible but overloading is possible in object oriented programming in procedure oriented programming it is not very easy to add new data or functions to a very long code but adding new functions or data is really easy in object oriented programming now it's time to see some examples python ruby java c++ c# sharp emerald etc are some of the examples of object oriented programming languages for procedure oriented programming languages we have c vb fortran pascal etc if you like the content please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more videos like this